I started to write Zutan before the Finkler question was even published. You finish your book, it goes to the publisher, you start another one. You don't know when you're starting your new novel, you don't know the re what the reception of the previous one's going to be. And I'm not even sure it's a novel about literary failure, actually. You know, um, it's actually a novel about reading. I thought it might be fun to write a comic novel about how people can't, don't read well anymore. It's a bit risky because it means you're insulting your own readers, but you're hoping your own readers will understand that they are accepted from that general charge by virtue of being your readers. Well, I had a, a teacher in primary school called Mrs. Herman. Funny that I still remember the name since I was seven when she wrote a letter to my mother saying, your Howard has got gifts as a writer, all that. And um, my mother framed the letter and it sat on top of the television for very many years. In fact, it's still framed in my mother's house now. And a funny thing when something like this happens because when somebody encourages you like that, you believe it. Had somebody said, Howard, I want to tell you that Howard is wonderful at climbing wall bars, who's to say that I wouldn't have been a famous gymnast thereafter? Teachers, when a teacher encourages you like that, it has a huge effect on you. Mind you, I was already, aged eight or nine, um, precociously interested in reading and writing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have write, written that essay that she wrote the letter in praise of. What I remember is putting my hand up when the bell went and saying, Miss, Miss, can I stay in during break to finish my essay, please? And all the other kids went, oh, God. What was it about? It was about, see, I even remember this, the use of newspapers. Um, and I just wrote, just, it was just a little piece of journalism, but it was written, I wrote a lot, and I think that's probably what impressed her. But it was rather sweet, because when my first novel was published, many years later, more than 30 years later or something or other, my mother received a letter from the sister of Mrs. Herman saying, I remember, me, I remember my sister talking about this boy and saying, he will become a writer one day, you mark my words. And it's so sad because she died recently and she isn't here to see it, but I just want to say. So we all shed a tear over that. The advantages of writing late... Um, I'm trying to think if there are any. The disadvantages of writing late is that you spend a lot of your time while it's happening feeling that your life is coming to nothing um, and afterwards wondering whether you just wasted years. I do sort of look at my late 20s and early 30s as a wasteland, really. I don't mind not having written anything in my 20s because I was busy teaching and having a good time. But from, a, from my late 20s until the, my middle 30s, which was when I started writing my first novel, I just fretted really. I was just miserable and unhappy um, for all sorts of reasons, uh, personal as well as professional. Um, but one of them was I thought I was going to be a writer, and where was the novel? And whenever I went back to Manchester, my dad would say, he didn't mean it to be unkind, um, but it felt unkind. So where's this novel then? So where's this novel then? Uh, because I'd said from from the moment of Mrs. Herman's letter, I'm going to be a novelist. I'm going to be a great novelist, Dad. And, he, and of course, parents. No one believes you when, when you say you're going to be a novelist. No one believed me when I was writing Coming From Behind and I said, I've got this novel. Everybody goes, yeah, 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 I'd have been no better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my, the culture I grew up in, although I didn't grow up in a cultured household, nonetheless, there was a kind of reverence around the idea of books. Um, we took a book very, very seriously and the idea that somebody might write one felt momentous. Now, of course, anybody knocks out a book, any old person knocks out a book and nobody takes any notice. But in, a, in, the, in the world where writing was taken very seriously, the idea that one might write one was, in, was important. Comedy is... How long have we got? Comedy is, is, a, is a big problem. Um, we, we're in a culture that reveres... Com we, we revere comedians and we like comedy on television, and we think we like, you know, we think we love comedy. Um, it's when comedy meets literature, it's when comedy meets the seriousness, we're in trouble. Um, and a lot of people don't know how to cope with comedy when it's not just comedy. When comedy is put to a serious use, um, people are, some people are bothered by it. 
the literary world is particularly bothered by it because the literary world, insofar as there is one, so just allow me anyway to pretend that there is one. If, insofar as there is a literary world, um, it's somewhat religious and it likes to be in awe. It's in awe. I, I'm in awe of books too, but I'm in awe of the vigour of the book. Um, in the literary world, particularly the English and probably too the American literary world, there's a kind of an, an, an awe of the quietude of writing, and comedy bursts into the quietude of writing. It's the gun going off in the concert hall. It's not what people want. They want, they want, you know how there's a great, there has been for many years a fondness for spare, the spare, the quiet, the little book, the quiet book. I've heard a lot of talk about the quiet book of late. Well, comedy isn't quiet. Comedy is, is noisy. And that's what I have always liked about, I've liked um, vivacious, boisterous uh, writing. Um, and what creates that boisterousness often is, is the comic spirit. The novel is born out of comedy. So any novel that's not a comic novel, really, in the, the comic, any novel that doesn't have comedy in it, the spirit of the energetic, volcanic spirit of comedy in it, fails of its task as far as I'm concerned. Our parents are Rabelais, our parents are Cervantes. That's what started all satiric, disbelieving, um, questioning everything. Nothing questions like comedy. And, since the, and, the, and the novel as a comic form is, is the form that puts everything to the sword. Really. There are no certitudes when you've got, when the comic novel is at work. And our problem, um, our problem as a, as a culture um, is that we still want certitudes and we want novels to affirm certitudes. We want novels to conform to our sense of what's, you know, right around race, gender, all those things. And that's not what novels are, what not novels are for. And there's nothing I wished I'd known about the publishing world. The publishing world is like all other worlds, uh, peopled by heroes and peopled by villains. And I've met my share of, of each. Um, what I wished I'd known about writing was how much I was going to enjoy it, uh, what tremendous fun it would be to write once you got going. When you begin, you, 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 however much you want to do it, you are full of reluctance. The world is wanting to, the world is calling you away. It's very hard to concentrate on the work. You don't want to go in and work. Um, I wished I'd known early, earlier, so that I'd started earlier, so that I would now have been having, I would now have had more years to enjoy the sheer pleasure that writing is, the sheer delight of. Now, I mean, I have it sometimes when I'm up, when I've got a book on the go. I've got one now, and I go to bed at night, and I just think, let, please let sleep be over. Please let sleep be over so I can get up very, very early and go to my desk and write. Because when you're... This doesn't mean one's any good, and it doesn't mean what one's writing is any good. I'm, st I'm simply talking about the sheer joy of the doing. And there is no joy in the world like the joy of, of, of making work. It must be the same for a painter or a musician. The joy of, just to put it in grandiose terms, why not? The joy of making art has no equal.